the competition. And the last year is Mr. Willem, VP for Finance. Mr. Sekhar, VP for Selection and Training. To thank our President, and Mr. Sandri, to our guests of honour and also our sponsors today. I will now hand the mic to uh, Mr. Tang to address you. Uh, Mr. Sunhui, parents, coaches, athletes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to this press conference. Let me first apologize. We are both in Chengdu and I'm suffering from a bit of a sore throat. No, no, no. The weather was uh, unexpectedly chilly, actually. So we caught a chill. We had a meeting from 11 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, actually. So we were sitting at the riverside and it was a little bit cold. So pardon me for my hoarse voice. I was asking for some water so in case halfway through I, I lose my voice. Anyway, in our multi-year plan that we submitted for 2010 to 2014, submitted to uh, SSE and also endorsed by SSE last year, we have identified that previous athlete development and competition pathway, there is a particular stage of development which may have affected the performance of our athletes in the international arenas. Now this is the stage when athletes reach the age of 17. Our National Schools Athletic Championship has always been a marquee event for National School Sports. This year alone, I think we have seven boys uh, breaking the record. Six in the A boys and one in the B boy. The girls did equally well. Six records, two in the A girls and four in the B girls. Sean Lane must be specially mentioned. He won the pole World A boys, clearing 4.8 meters. Besides establishing the A boys record, he also broke the national record, which has been standing since 1993. I think that is yeah. I think this all well for the uh, young talents that we have in our athletes' pathway program. Now, good as it may that we have record breakers, there is, however, a, a breakaway for many of the athletes from the usual competition when they finish their O levels. Statistics have shown that after the O levels, 65% goes to polytechnic and ITs, and only 35% remain in a junior college, which they enjoy to continue the excellent uh, sports program by uh, the school system. The age of 17, you athletes know, marks the beginning of the journey of an athlete towards high performance. Because this is where you go overseas to compete for Singapore in the, world, in the youth and junior competition. Some of you are going for the world youth and hopefully you bring Singapore proud. Or at least you enter finals. Now, SA is having a critical look at this 65% of athletes leaving the Singapore school's competi uh, competition system and progressing to the polytechnic and the IT. This group of students have to compete in the inter-varsity polytechnic games in the polite games. The age disparity in the IVP is sometimes a very disadvantage for these young boys or girls who go to polytechnic. And, as a result, some of them may lose the motivation to train and thereby drop out of our athlete pathway. To tackle this situation, SA will communicate and monitor this group of athletes together with their coaches. We do not want to lose these talents. In addition, we'll have more competitions to be planned for this group of athletes. This inaugural National Under-23 Open Championship 
on June 25th, 26th at Nanyang Poly is one of the new initiatives that SA will take as part of a modification of our ethnic pathway towards high performance. It is a championship for Singaporeans only. Winners will be proud to call themselves national champion of the respective event, whether it's under 23 champion or open champion. In this regard, I'd like to thank Sun Hui, who is a personal friend and business partner of mine. He's a very successful private equity investor, born in Shanghai, but now a Singaporean. Sun Hui is one of the pioneer group that invested in the financial instrument market when China begins to liberalize the financial market. On one of our business trips, I asked Sun Hui, I said, hey, can you sponsor one of our championship, an inaugural championship? And without hesitation, he agreed to donate 100,000. Thank you, Sun Hui. <laughs> Sun Hui believes strongly in healthy lifestyle, like sports, for young people like yourself. Now, to make this event, inaugural event, more attractive, there will be a cash award of $500 to be awarded for each male and female best performance athlete in each of the category of under 23 and open. How are we going to select this best male and female athlete will be based on the IAAF point system. Now in addition, we're going to invite some primary schools to compete in a 4x100 meters uh, relay. We have to develop the kids from young. And we have uh, decided to give cash awards to the first three placing of both the boys and girls, 180 and 60. All right. Hopefully this will give incentive for them to face some of the costs of training, transportation, food and all that. Now we hope to develop this event to be one of the highlights of our annual competition. And to do this, we look forward to all stakeholders to work together to make this meet a success. Thank you very much.